Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Little Pika and Big Eats. As always, I'll be your host, Ari, and I'm so excited to be back from such a nice little break. Thanksgiving was so delicious, but it was also quite busy, so thank you very much for understanding, guys. Now, in the spirit of eating anything but Thanksgiving food, because we overdid it, it was tasty, but we overdid it, I'm still full days later, we are going to be making a delicious and yet easy and tasty a pan seared mahi mahi with a nice side of our garlicky buttery asparagus and our super easy but super tasty coconut ginger rice. So let's begin. All right, so as you can see, I already have a little pot full of water and that's what we're going to be using for coconut ginger rice. My water is already boiling. I've placed two cups of water in there. So super easy we're gonna go ahead and use and you guys already know this is one of my favorite brands the Vigo coconut ginger rice and we're simply just gonna pour it right into our boiling water now as always with these bags some of the seasoning for the rice can get stuck in there so I like to just grab a spoon and try to scoop it out to make sure that we can place it right into our, um, our rice so it flavors well. Let's see, there you go. Let's put that right there. We're gonna give that a good stir. Let's make sure that the clumped up seasoning breaks apart in the hot water, okay? Now, we're just gonna sprinkle in a little bit of olive oil coat those grains and you guys know that I love cilantro and almost anything so we are going to be sprinkling in about mm, a little less than a quarter of a bunch of cilantro and it doesn't have to be finely chopped it'll cook down let's go ahead and give that a good stir again there we go Oh, it's looking tasty. Let's place our lid right back on top. Lower. Well, actually, no. We're going to bring that up to a boil again. And once it starts to boil, we're going to lower that flame, okay? Now, oh, it's kind of starting to boil already. Hmm? Oh, there, there you go. Lower that flame. Nice low flame. And let's set up our timer for 15 minutes for the rest. There we go. Now, I also have a very big pan and it's already full of water because we have to submerge our asparagus. So, that water is coming to a boil. I have already trimmed the ends of my asparagus because we don't like those, those are too crunchy. And while well, that comes to a rolling boil, we are going to move on to the salsa that's super tasty and refreshing, which we're going to be using to top the um, mahi mahi. So, I love buying the top crop salsa with mango in it. I find it at ShopRite, it's so much easier to just buy like this and to make it yourself. And in the spirit of making things easy, um, well, here you have it. So, we are, however, going to grab a nice little container and we're simply going to place our mango salsa in there. Try to squeeze that out because sometimes it's pretty hard because it's been packed tight. But anyway, there you go. Oh, so tasty. Let's show you guys. Mmm, it smells so good. But I do like to add a little more crunch so I am adding a very tiny bit of thin sliced red pepper or finely chopped red pepper a tiny bit of finely chopped cilantro as well and I'm gonna say about a tablespoon full of finely chopped onion fresh onion so that it has a nice crunch it very much complements this salsa Move this over and we're gonna just squeeze about eh, like three lime drops because we don't want to change the sweet 
taste of this salsa, okay? So actually just like a little squeeze, just a few drops. Let's grab my paper towels. And last but not least, we're just gonna sprinkle in a tiny bit, I'm gonna say about a teaspoon of garlic, minced garlic to be specific. There we go. A tiny bit of salt. That's it. Now let's go ahead and just mix this together. It makes for a tastier salsa. nice crunch given that the mango is so soft. Mm, there you go. We're going to let those veggies bleed out their flavor and mix into the mango, but now it looks so much more colorful. Mmm, and it smells so much better. Okay, oh, we lost a couple. Let's toss those back there. And we're just going to put this to the side, not in the refrigerator because we really want this to come to room temperature. So, just put it on the side. Let's remove this. All right, wipe our surroundings. Now, we are at 11 minutes for the rice, but the water for the asparagus has begun to boil. So, we're simply gonna go ahead and toss in our asparagus. And make sure that it's all submerged, okay? Perfect. Pat it down with a nice spoon. Like, see, there's a very thin little piece. I don't like using those, so we're just going to get rid of that one. It'll overcook anyways. All right. And we are going to continue to let this water boil. Now, we are at 10 minutes for the rice but we need to let our asparagus cook or boil for about five. So when that timer is up, we'll be back for the rest. Cheers. All right, our timer has gone off for our asparagus. So at this point, feel free to poke it with a little fork. If you like a crunch, now is the time to pull it out. But if you wanna cook it a little longer because you like it a little more tender, like myself, you might be leaving it in there for a little longer. So let's just go ahead and poke. Okay, there's one that's kind of crunchy still. Let's see. Mm, I'm gonna say that I want mine a little more cooked. So um, while I've spoken, a minute has passed by. So we have four minutes left on the rice timer. Those are the same minutes we're gonna use to continue to cook the asparagus. But let's make sure that we have a strainer ready, okay? Because we have to come back and drain the water out of the asparagus, okay? Up next. Okay, our timer is about to go up. Now, let's be very, very careful with draining the water, please, guys. Got my trusty tools. I think I'm gonna have to use two hands for this one. But feel free to turn off that flame. And two hands. Let's come on over. And we're gonna drain that water very carefully, okay? Now I use this glove to try to hold the asparagus in place, but the strainer will catch it if it slides right out, okay? There we go. See? Look at those. They're so beautiful. I found a nice size this time. Okay, now, let's light that flame again. There we go, maybe a little more on a high flame. Next, we're gonna sprinkle in a very little bit of oil. This is going to sear them a little bit. And then we're gonna go ahead and put a little bit of butter in there because we love butter. So, I'm going to say 
about, hmm, uh, no, about a tablespoon at the most. And I let the butter hit the sides of the pan so that it begins to melt. And then place it right on top. Do the same thing with the other piece of butter. It's melting, it's melting, and then right on top. Mmm, I love the Kerrygold butter. Next, we're gonna go ahead and grab a little bit of our garlic again. And yes, we are going to be placing about a tablespoon of it in there, okay? We're going to do a little bit of salt. And a little bit of paprika. That's it. Nice and light. And let's go ahead and grab our trusty tongues. And what we want to do is simply go ahead and mix all of this in. All right, so try to rotate it. There you go. Flip it over until the butter, the salt, the garlic, everything is mixing in well. And coating our asparagus as well as the bottom of the pan. And quickly, we're going to introduce it right back on that plate. There we go. Make sure the garlic is spreading evenly. Whip them too. There you go. And spread them flat so they hit the pan. Now, our timer did just go off, so we got to check our rice. Let's go ahead and bring that over. Let's show you guys. Mmm. Oh, that smells amazing already. And... We're just going to grab our trusty cutting board because we want it to be safe. Let's not burn anything. And give it a good stir. Ooh, the texture of the rice is perfect. So yeah, guys, only about 15, 16 minutes on the rice, okay? Let's shut this flame off. We don't need it anymore. But this rice really, really complements the mahi-mahi. It's so tasty. And as you guys saw, super easy to make. Ooh. For the rice, we're done. So we're just going to put it back on here, let it sit, put the lid back on, leave it a little bit cracked so it doesn't continue to maybe overcook the rice. But at this point, our asparagus has been cooking for about two minutes with that butter and garlic. So let's give that a nice little flip. There we go. And Turn up that plate. All right. We're just gonna let it sit and continue to cook with the heat that's already been built into the pan. So, next, we are simply going to prep our mahi-mahi. I am making two pieces right now because I am making this quite early and I love mahi-mahi fresh. Like when we, right before we are about to serve, I cook it because it takes no time. So this is my portion. I'm making two. But if you're doing this during dinner time, go ahead, cook it all of it together. So we're going to sprinkle this with a tiny bit of oil. Literally a tiny. There you go. That's it. And let's just place this back here, actually. I'm just going to grab the fork real quick. And there you go just to coat it a little bit, not a lot. Then we're gonna grab our lime from before and we're just gonna give that a good squeeze. We want a couple of drops on top of the fish. There we go. And super easy. Let's sprinkle in a lemon pepper seasoning. What we are trying to do is make a nice coat of the seasonings. 
Then we're gonna go in with my forever favorite, soul seasoning, but if you don't have it and you have Goya, go ahead and use it. And just give it a good shake. There we go. Paprika. Mmm, smoky flavor. And a little bit of salt. Quite an easy meal. And you can note that we are using some of the same seasonings for different uh, dishes. So it's really not something that needs or requires so many different ingredients. But anyways, here is the fish seasoned. I said we were keeping it light. So we're just going to let this sit for a moment on the side because remember our mango salsa is really what's going to give this dish a lot more flavor. Let's check it out. Mm. So now we're just simply going to transfer our asparagus into another dish so it can sit for a little bit and we are going to prepare the pan that we need for our fish. We'll be back. And we're back. And as you guys can see, I do have a smaller pan already over the flame. I let it sit for about three minutes, heating up so that our uh, fish can sizzle the moment we put it down, okay? So let's go ahead and add a little bit of oil because I didn't want to burn the oil. A little sprinkle, okay? And I have my delicious coconut rice here. And our delicious green beans here, they're ready. So now, let's go ahead and very carefully place our fish on our pan. The side that's been seasoned, hitting the pan, okay? I love that sound. There we go. And let's set up our timer because these are they're not too thick, but they're not too thin. So we're gonna set up our timer for three minutes, okay? My flame is currently somewhere between low to medium as well. And we're simply just gonna sprinkle a little bit of salt seasoning on the side that hasn't been seasoned. There we go. A little bit of lemon pepper. to let this cook now it's down to about 2.5 minutes we're gonna let it cook and we're gonna come back and flip them over okay I'll see you then and we're back and there goes our timer let's flip these oh they're looking beautiful let's show you guys so quickly let's place those right back on our heat and now we're gonna set up our timer for another three minutes. However, if you have uh, pieces that are a little bit on the thicker side, you might need about four, okay? But let's babysit this. And as soon as the timer goes off, we come back for our favorite part. We get to put it together and take a delicious bite. Yes! And we're back and our timer is about to go up. Um, I have everything laid out over here and our mango salsa. There is our timer. So we're going to turn this flame off. I did place the lid on in the last minute just to concentrate some of that heat. But we're going to remove it. And I'm going to let that sit just for a little longer. But we're going to go ahead and put our dish together, guys. So, I love a bed of the coconut rice. It's so good. Let's go ahead and do that right here. We also like to make it a little pretty around these parts. So, let's see. Beautiful. Next, we're going to go in and oh, Let's grab a little bit of our delicious, delicious, delicious asparagus. Okay, let's make sure these pieces are even. There we go. Place that right there. Oh, I love it when it curls a little bit. Mmm. So how 
hungry. <laughs> Even though I just said I was stuck for Thanksgiving. And we're gonna go ahead and pick our delicious piece of fish. Mm. Now I am gonna remove this one from the pan. I do have a plate back here so it doesn't continue to cook. So we're just gonna place that there for the moment. We're gonna center this piece. Mmm. Alright. Let's get some napkins. And we're gonna top it off with our delicious salsa. So guys, go ahead and give that a good stir again. Ooh. And add as much as you'd like at this point. I am a big fan of this salsa. So I'm just gonna line that up on top of the fish. There we go. And let me come around and show you. Coming over. Look at it. It's such a beauty. Mmm. We have our delicious asparagus. All that garlic and butter. And take a look at our fish. It's tasty, you guys. One of my favorite meals to make when we're looking to eat light but still tasty. Whew. Let's take a bite. Where do I want to go? Okay. I'm going to go right here. A little bit of that rice, a little bit of that fish, and our mango salsa. Mmm. So tasty. So, starts with the coconutty flavor and ginger. Then, a nice, lightly seasoned fish, which is still so flavorful because of the soul seasoning. And then, that sweet, delicious bite with the mango. Along with a nice little light crunch from those peppers and onions. Mmm. And, let's taste our asparagus. Mmm. Nice, light, simple. Super tasty. And the perfect crunch. Wow. First time I'm going to say that, like, it's, um, I mean, it's absolutely perfect. Mmm. Mmm. You heard that? That's delicious right there. Oh. You guys. Thank you so much once again for joining in and just pretty much allowing us to share what we make at home uh, any given day and enjoying yourselves and looking up these videos and subscribing and sharing them. This has been so lovely. I've missed you when I take a break. You guys have been understanding when we need to take a break. So I'm just so happy to always be able to share this with you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us in our happy place. I hope it's yours too. And I hope everybody gets to rest, okay? Let's not start thinking about Christmas just yet. Just give yourself a couple days. And I hope that we continue to enjoy these videos. So, I'll see you next time on the next episode of Little Tika and Big Eats. Ciao. Stay blessed as always, guys.